So we are home grooming today in my bathroom. So this is a regular client of mine and I have gone ahead and gotten set up. I am going to show you guys real quick. So I always start with the bath, obviously, and this is my bathtub set up. So we got our shampoo. Uh, those are both shampoos. Uh, let's see. So today I'm using odor neutralizing and moisturizing shampoo. So I might use, these are my little sample bottles. Now I have full size of all of these and I just refill them. So that way I don't have to carry these full size products around. So I love these sample bottles. So if you're a house call groomer, uh, I would recommend trying to get some, I closed it, I thought it might now. You know, this is getting real complicated. There we go, okay. So if you're a house call groomer, I'd recommend getting some small bottles like this. I like, I use Hydra stuff. So for me to get the small Hydra bottles just made sense. Uh, Cause that way I don't have to label them. So um, I'm gonna put this in there too. Cause this is a conditioner. I've got a long haired Chihuahua slash like Pekingese Pomeranian thing. I don't know what he is, but he might need a little conditioner. So there is our shampoo setup. Those are my boyfriend's shampoos. <laughs> Look at my shower, you guys. Can you tell a redhead lives here? Oh my God. Okay, so we got our um, system set up. Let me show you guys this. So this is my camp shower system. And we're, it just like let out a little water. Um, so we're gonna hit this button here and that makes it spray. So you can see, and there's actually two modes. So this is like a lesser power. You can hear it's like not as strong. And there it goes. That's our sprayer. So this is how I bathe in people's tubs. Um, I'm just gonna fill this back up with some more warm water. There we go. Done. Okay. So here's our table. I'll show you how to set that up in a second. And the toolbox. Um, and then you saw this is my product bag. Um, this is an extra camp shower I bought as a backup. Paul mat, hound hammocks, all the goodies. All right. So let's get the table set up. Okay. So I got you guys on my floor. So grab my table. I will warn you, this is kind of heavy. It's not terrible, but it, it kind of sucks when you're um, going up somebody's stairs or something. It's a little heavy. So we'll put the legs out. And what I have discovered is I think it's easier to put the table up because this is actually adjustable height wise. What I like to do is put my foot on this bottom. Am I, no, it's this part. And I'm just gonna pull up. I find this is easier than to um, to have the table laying down and pull the legs out that way. This just seems to work easier, especially when you're putting it back down. I'll show you guys how easy it is to put it back down. And since this is a small dog, I'm gonna pump this all the way up. There we go. Oh, I'm sweating already, I might have to turn my down a little bit you guys oh my god okay up we go <laughs> come on Ugh. come on table work with me <laughs> isn't this so fun to watch me just struggle with my table it's great table we're doing a demo right now so if you could just work with me thank you did we get it <sighs> we got it all right, this is this table alone might be my worst part of home grooming. There are nice, nicer tables out there. You can talk to Rose and Friends Pet Care. Um, she's got the good table. But if you're like me and you're only going to be doing house call temporarily, this is a good table for that. It's just affordable. All right, so next. For haircutting, this top compartment is all my haircut supplies. Um, I have my clippers here. Sorry, this point where you guys can see. So there are my clippers. Normally they would be in here, but since we're at my house, I just took them off the charger. So they're not like put in here right now. Normally they'd be in their little case and in here. Um, these are like my hundred million combs that I use. Uh, these are my like hundred million shears that I have stored horribly. 
Um, and then this I use to like wipe down my shears. It's got lint on it. I swear it's not dirty. That's lint. Um, but yeah, I use this to like wipe off shears and blades between clients. Like if I'm going to have one house right after the next. I'll do that as a quick cleanup. And of course, cart guard attachments. I do have a full size clipper that I bring with blades if they're getting like a seven all over or 10 or whatever. But if they're not getting like a seven all over or anything like that, then I just bring these clippers. I do have a 35 pound weight limit. So that also, uh, contributes to the fact that I only use smaller handheld clippers. All right, this is probably my favorite compartment right here, and you'll see why. It's so pretty. Oh, look at all the bows. Oh, I love them. These fucking idiots. What are you guys doing? They said, who are you talking to like that? That's our voice. Who are you talking to? You gonna take a bath? You want to take a bath, woman? You need a bath. Look at y'all ratty ass. Wearing Halloween colors. Look at that butt. Oh, my God. Somebody groom this dog. I'm calling animal control. All right. And the last compartment is my dryer, which I need to take out anyway. Then I always keep extra towels down here, too. Um, so there's that. And then extension cord. Uh, gloves, because you just never know. Um, and then this, this for the dryer. I want to show you guys real quick how easy it is to do the hose. So you just put it right on and then you just clip this thing over just like that. Make sure it's all locked in and now your hose is secure. So how cool is that? Like, it's not like the ones that you have to screw like a thousand times. I really like this dryer. This was only $70, you guys, $70. It's not like the most amazing dryer in the world, but let me tell you, it's worth every dollar of that $70. Um, so yeah, highly recommend this dryer. And my favorite cleanup method is this $15 handheld vacuum from Dirt Devil. I got it at Big Lots. Um, this thing is a lifesaver. Like when you have all that hair that's so cottony and it just goes anywhere, like you just woo, 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 suck it right up and you're good to go. This, um, this thing, might be my favorite house call tool. No freaking lie. Get yourself a handheld vacuum. Like seriously, this thing makes cleanup so easy. Otherwise, you're gonna be here all day with this damn tiny broom and dustpan, which does okay. Like, don't get me wrong, it's okay. But like, it's nothing to be excited about. You know what I mean? Um, oh, and then another important cleanup thing. I always keep trash bags in this bag because it's very easily accessible. You never know when you're gonna need a trash bag. And typically what I do, I'm just gonna set this up like I would be doing it at somebody else's house. Since it's my bathroom, typically I wouldn't care. I'd just let all the hair hit the ground and uh, I'd just sweep it up later. But at a client's house, I put all the hair directly into the bag. So once I'm done uh, doing a part, like I do the face and there's hair all over the table, I like grab it and I put it all into the bag right away. So that way at the end, there's just a little bit of hair. And what that does is when they peek in to see how you're doing, there's not a fucking disaster everywhere. You see what I'm saying? Like clean up as you go with house call. That is key. So the setup video just ended up being a little bit longer than I expected it to be. So this is gonna be a two part. The second part is going to be the process and what's different between house call grooming versus in the shop. And I can kind of tell you with mobile grooming too, because I have also done mobile grooming, so I can kind of tell you what the differences will be. My client should be here any minute, so I'm gonna go wait for him. Uh, and then I will be back and we will make our next video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this house call setup video. I hope it helps you out if you're thinking about getting into house call. Last thing I wanted to mention real quick, whenever I put this stuff into my car, I put the table down first. I stack everything else on it just to make things more practical. I drive an SUV, so I have a large trunk, so this works for me. But, um, oh, and when I do this, I break these two into two parts when I put it in my trunk. So I don't leave these locked together when they're in the trunk, okay? But yeah, that's the house call setup. Super easy. Um, really, the biggest thing is just carrying it inside. But yeah, I'm going to go wait for my client, and then I will be back for another video where we actually do the groom. So hope you guys enjoyed this setup video. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!